Welcome to the first in a series of training videos on the Maven app. So what is Maven? Maven is an iOS app for DJI drones that adds features not available in the native DJI app. Features including waypoint missions, geofencing, and a comprehensive digital co-pilot. Today's video, we're gonna be covering a waypoint mission start to finish. With the Maven app open, I'm gonna select Waypoint and New Mission. Currently, there are three choices for creating a mission with a fourth one coming in a future update. They are from scratch, which builds the Waypoint mission in the app, a CSV import, which allows you to import missions from other apps and by flight which allows you to create a waypoint mission by a flight and then repeat that flight so today we're going to be covering the from scratch select from scratch it defaults to your current location but what if you don't want to build a mission based on your current location touch the magnifying glass and search you can search by address or point of interest so i'm going to type fort ross fort ross state park touch the hourglass again to make that search go away touch the gear and do some some basic housekeeping setup first i'm going to give it a name let's be creative and call it fort ross the default speed is seven miles an hour or three meters per second, or you can have the speed set by each waypoint. We're gonna leave it at the seven miles an hour. Your heading can be controlled manually or by waypoint, which is the default. We'll leave that there. And your gimbal pitch angle, the same thing, manual or waypoint, we'll leave that there. After action is finished, after the mission is done, what do you want it to do? You can have it do nothing. The default is to return to home. You can have it land or go back to the first waypoint. The flight path can be normal or curved. The default is curved. We can also define point of interest. So I'm gonna hit the plus and I'm gonna to tap to add a point of interest. And then we can set, what do you want it to do if it loses connection with the drone? The Mini and the Air 2 will only return to home, but you can have it continue the mission with other drones. You can also set it to repeat the mission any number of times. Touch the gear to make that go away. And we've dropped a point of interest dead center of the fort, but we can long press and move it. Let's move it over to the corner and let's touch the gear on the right hand side and we got some changes we can make. First off, the point of interest doesn't have a name. It doesn't really need one, but we're gonna go ahead and add a name that is the chapel. And the default is to set the elevation for altitude for the point of interest at seven feet. And that's just where your drone is gonna point. And that seven feet is based on your takeoff altitude. You can also set it to be above ground, which calculates how high your drone is gonna be looking based on the AGL. At the very bottom, you have some fine tuning arrows where you can fine tune the position of the point of interest. All right, let's touch the gear, make that go away, and let's start adding some waypoints. So a long press on the screen adds a waypoint. It defaults to 82 feet. A little arrowhead indicates the direction the drone is pointing. So let's touch the gear and let's do some editing on that. So the default is 25 meters or 82 feet altitude. That is relative to your takeoff point. You can also set it to be AGL. Notice when that happens, a little mountain appears on the waypoint. That indicates your altitude above ground and in the circle shows your altitude relative to your takeoff point. And now we can determine where we want the drone to face. You can have it face the next waypoint, the current waypoint, previous you can set it to manual or you can set it to the point of interest your heading rotation is going to happen on the waypoint your gimbal is pitched to the point of interest and there are no actions defined yet for this so let's go ahead and touch action and configure and now we can start adding actions on that waypoint 
your options are to stay for a set number of seconds, take a photo, start recording, stop recording, rotate the aircraft, tilt the camera, turn the bottom light on or off, which I've never found a use for. So I'm gonna start off by having it take a photo and then I'm gonna have it stay for four seconds. I like to add a delay after a photo to make sure the photo is completely finished before the drone moves. Now I'm going to start recording. We're done with that. Now, additionally, you can start an interval photo shot. Now the photo shot won't work if you're recording. Turning that on and hitting configure, you can set the drone to take a photo based on distance or time. So the default is to take a photo every 10 meters or 33 feet. You can also set it to take a photo every three seconds and that time can be adjusted. So let's go ahead and turn that off. Just like the point of interest, you can fine tune your waypoint. You can either edit directly using the lat long or you can use the slider buttons to move that point wherever you want it. All right, let's add another waypoint. That waypoint, you notice the above ground altitude stays the same, but the altitude relative to your takeoff point changes because the terrain in that location is changing. Now let's add another waypoint and let's talk about the orbit feature. So I'm gonna select orbit as it puts a circle there, I can change the orbit radius. I can change the number of laps and the direction of the orbit. So let's have it go around there twice. I can set that orbit to be a spiral. And by setting spiral, I can set the ending radius up or down. We're gonna have it spiral closer and I can set the ending altitude so now that waypoint will circle the point of interest and climb as it does. Now let's go ahead and add another waypoint. And if I go up here and change where that waypoint is pointing, I can add another point of interest. So now I'm gonna tap the screen. That's going to shift the drone to point at the new point of interest. And again, I can fine tune the position of that point of interest. After adding a waypoint, if you decide you want to reposition, you can long press on the waypoint and you can move it around. You can also fine tune the waypoints again with the buttons at the bottom. I'm gonna move back to this waypoint. One of the things that you can do at this point is change the corner radius. It defaults to zero, so I'm gonna zoom in. So as I increase the corner radius, you can see that the red line turns to blue, so you have a nice smooth curve at that point. One of the things to note is as you curve the line, the drone won't actually reach the waypoint. So any actions that you set on that waypoint won't fire because the drone will never reach it. So let's add another waypoint. We're still pointing at point of interest number two. And let's go down and add an action on that to stop recording. And now we have a basic waypoint mission let's save that now when you're ready to fly open the maven app select waypoint select your mission the little black square there is the drone view which you can reposition to larger larger and then back to very small i like to leave it at the default setting. And you notice below the mission, it gives you the total distance for the mission and the estimated time. And all I have to do to fly that mission is hit the rocket and it will continue fly that mission. That is all for the waypoint mission. In future videos, we'll cover some of the display items that you see on the screen, as well as the other 
features, including the virtual co-pilot and the geofencing. For now, if you feel like I've earned it, I'd appreciate a subscription. Thank you and goodbye.